Hi everyone, this is Praveen Duri from DICE University and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the introduction of Ads Terra Push Traffic Network tutorial. Let's go! Welcome to today's video on the introduction to Ads Terra push traffic network. So basically, in today's video, we are going to talk about Ads Terra. This is one of my favorite push traffic network. And I'm going to give you a reason that you cannot digest. But personally, there's not a lot of push traffic network who actually concentrate a lot on the design. But Ads Terra, they do. If you actually see their homepage, this is actually their homepage, and you can see the A, wow. Look what they have done with their logo. This alone is simply so interesting that I actually fell in love with the way they did their logo itself. So basically, that's about my personal opinion because I'm from designing background. So personally, I like this kind of stuff. But if you want to talk about the background of Ads Terra, Ads Terra, is a company which was founded in the year 2013 and it is actually based in Scotland but has been expanding globally like crazy. They actually serve 10 billions of impression every single month with geo-targeted advertising. They also have well over 8,000 publishers in their network spread throughout the globe. And you know what's the best part? They are keep expanding i'm going to show you the statistic which is in your home page itself in a while so more about this network is that this network actually offers cost per action cost per click cost per view advertising options so that publisher can actually get paid in pretty much any way they want and if you talk about advertisers they do have a lot of ad format for advertisers as well and this is actually very valuable because you can actually decide what type of ad format you want to use as well as if you're a publisher what type of ads you want to use based on your traffic and your typical usage pattern so if you you for example you're a publisher and you you have an highly engaged audience frequently clicks on links and ads cpc and cpa is a much better more option so knowing that you could actually optimize your targeting and that's the best part about ads era and if your audience is like larger audience but they are not the one who's very engaged with your post and all those guys you can still monetize them well with cpm ads so it totally depends on how you want to do it and ad Sarah can actually provide you on the method on how to do it if you look at their home page this is actually their home page except for their amazing logo if you look at their home page there's actually very simple registration sign in and menu so in the registration you can actually register as advertiser or publisher normal sign in same advertiser or publisher on the menu section there is a lot of section if you click you see how well done is their website and i really appreciate uh, networks who actually concentrate on the design and the website it shows us how professional they could actually be so there's uh, like advertisers advertisers ssp publishers ad format about us resources blogs faq and contact us so they do have uh, resources where you can actually go ahead and learn which is actually very normal in push traffic network these days so when you scroll down further you can actually advertise or monetize monetize is for publishers advertise is for advertisers so this is actually their statistic like i told you the statistics keep growing so they have 25 billion impression per month that's crazy 248 geos covered more than 50,000 successful campaign and more than 100,000 is it oh sorry 
is 10,000, right? Sorry, more than 10,000 leads last month alone. So the advantage is they have their personal account manager, security, conversion, and tracking. So they do have their own internal tracking device. They have real-time statistics. So uh, their partners are Jumbong.com, Jumia, Lazada. Lazada is a pretty huge group. So they're actually using Adsera. This is the first time I know because Lazada is very famous in my place, uh, Malaysia. Lazada is very famous. So it's a huge e-commerce store. In fact, it's the number one e-commerce store in Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Indonesia, and all this kind of stuff. So uh, furthermore, if you scroll down, this is like their meeting and conference. So they, don't, they do have a different section for contact us. So let's go ahead and see the contact us section. So when you scroll down, you can actually send an email to them. You can say you're a publisher or you're an advertiser. And then they do have an address. I, they are based in Cyprus, but they were actually established in Scotland. I think they have shifted into Cyprus because Cyprus is an offshore and all these kind of accounting stuff can happen. That is none of our business. And as you can see, both are actually uh, offshore places, Cyprus as well as Panama. So, all right. And they have their general support email as well as their phone number, which you can contact. So, this is about their website. Their website is pretty amazing. It's done so professionally from the design from the logo until the navigation everything has been done so neatly and so nicely so let's go ahead and take a look at their dashboard how their dashboard looks like so you can actually go ahead and sign in as their advertiser so i've actually made an account with at sarah already at stera or at stera however you pronounce i've actually made an account with them already so i'm just going to go ahead into the dashboard another major point that you have to take into consideration is their sign up process is actually very interesting and i'm going to show you the format of their sign up process so this is actually when you press the sign up button this is actually what you need to sign up when you press the sign up button this is actually the things that you need to fill up so if your login your password your name your email address your skype uh your skype details what type of person are you are you an affiliate or your advertisers what type of models are you trying to do cpa cpl cpc and all this kind of stuff and over here you need to list your website what type of vertical you are are you working with other affiliates i did not put any affiliates there so i just put my website a different website for my crypto services as well as crypto vertical and then i press agree and sign up and i already got into the account so make sure you have these details because these particular details are something very new and it's not uh, something which is a lot of network will ask you so you have to keep in mind that you know this stuff especially one two three these three parts so once you have done that you will be let into the account of adstera so this is actually the dashboard of adstera so looks pretty neat right looks pretty straightforward and pretty neat uh, my login name is here my balance is here i've not topped up any money over here and then but if you go to this button over here the navigation actually there's a lot and a lot of details the first thing is they will actually teach you on how you can actually get started with Adsera itself. So choose a payment method and then you create a campaign and then you set up the track and all this kind of stuff. So you can actually go to the next one, which is the statistics. If you have any campaign, you will have a statistics over here. We do not have any campaign and do keep in mind, like I told you just now itself, they do have their own internal tracker installed within them. So campaign we are going to come to campaign last so offer wish list so if you press the offer wish list you can actually see the top offer what type of offer they are what device they are running on what geo they are running on what operating system they are running on you can even preview that particular offer how who is that one of the biggest advantage that ads there are have personally that's what i personally feel this is like a crazy thing that they have you can actually go ahead see which is the winning campaign and then you can actually go ahead and even preview the winning campaign which is crazy so so getting back to this one so over here uh, other campaigns are there as well so these are the verticals as you can see the device that they are running and everything looks pretty neat so this is a section which is 
crazy. That's why I think it's fire there because they're showing you the campaign which is actually doing well, which is very great. And personally, I think it's one of the biggest plus points that Xterra have within themselves. So the next one would be the finance section where you can actually go ahead and top up. So to payment. So this is how they actually pay you. You can actually pay them via Paxum, web money, Bitcoin, uh, this one is available on request wire transfer yandex yandex is from russia if you don't know visa mastercard and capital is so they do have the payment history and they do have anything related to payment you can actually contact this particular person so this is actually your manager so there's a uh, uh, skype details as well as uh, email which is very very good so the next session that we're going to look at is the tracking so with the tracking there's two one is conversion tracking and one is api like i always tell you if you know anything regarding api if you're a developer you know how to integrate api and everything most of this push traffic network they do offer api so if you know how to integrate and make a life easier go ahead and do it personally i've not done anything with api because i have no idea how to do it maybe i will going to uh, bring a developer and sit ask him to sit beside me and ask him to teach me the whole thing regarding api soon maybe i'll pay him or something but i do not know but currently i'm not using api so if you can use api you know how to use api go ahead and use it so this is the normal conversion tracking system so uh they are asking you to choose your post back global post back and all this kind of stuff so they do have their own internal tracking system but they highly recommend you to go ahead and use an external tracking system as well over here as you can see cake volume custom binom so volume is always there in dice university we always recommend you to go ahead and test out volume because volume is one of the best if you ask me and personally you ask a lot of people volume is the best external tracking software there is so definitely go ahead if you want to use any tracking system go ahead and use volume best thing about volume is their customer support is totally out of their mind they're crazy they are super super responsive and super super helpful so over here is where you can actually go ahead and set up all your post bags and set up your conversion tracking system so the next uh, part would be the support i think this is usually the normal contact form so this is your personal manager look at how they have designed the whole thing it's actually pretty neat and pretty nice and pretty professional right so designing actually matters a lot some of you might be thinking designing does not matter but designing it does matter a lot so this is your manager the skype details your email and then you can actually uh, if you have any other questions you can actually go ahead and submit a new ticket over here and over here you can also live chat with your personal manager so she is the one she actually added me in skype as well so this is their support uh, hours so within the support time we are still within the support time you can actually go ahead and contact her you can even live chat with her as well this is your affiliate manager so you can actually uh, communicate with them always remember when you're running a media buying company or you're an affiliate make sure to have a very good relationship with your manager because your personal manager would be the one who's in charge on helping you making good offers helping you creating all these ads helping you with frequency capping and all this kind of stuff so uh, even sometimes with payments they will actually help you so make sure you have a very very good relationship with your personal manager and your affiliate manager i would highly recommend you to do so do not engage your personal manager or affiliate manager with negative behavior which is very bad keep in mind that they do make money if you make money so they want you to make money that that's their whole motive but then if you are just beginning with your affiliate marketing journey sometimes they might think that hey you you can't make them money but they will still be there responsive and supportive towards you but they might not be there like 
always like for example you're a super affiliate and you're a beginner affiliate definitely super affiliate will gain much more attention because they are the ones who's making more money as well as they are the ones who's helping the personal manager and the affiliate managers to get more money but these personal manager or affiliate managers are those people who can actually transform a beginner affiliate marketer into a super affiliate marketer keep that in mind always so the next section will be the faq so basically this is a normal section and also we're not going to go through here just make sure that you always uh, read regarding the policies which is very important the terms and condition always always read the terms and condition of any push traffic network or any traffic network that you get yourself into this is very very crucial and then the last one would be the settings. So the settings is normal, my password and all this kind of stuff. And then you can log out or you can actually go ahead and create campaign. So as you can see over here, Adstera Network was established 2013 until 2020. So it's running for seven years right now. So let's go ahead and start creating a campaign. If you go to my campaign, nothing would be there since we don't have any campaign yet. So let's go ahead and create a campaign. So this is how the creation of the campaign looks like. Another point about Adstera is that they do have a very, very unique kind of traffic estimation. And this is actually a brand new setting that they have actually introduced. So they, this is actually a very, very crazy thing. If you add a country, they will actually show you a very, very in-detail traffic estimation, which is very, very good. Personally, that's what I think. And you can even preview your ad over here. So let's go ahead and uh, set up an ad, ad campaign test, traffic, all traffic, pricing, oops. So it's going to be all traffic. So pricing i want it to be cpc at unit web push or native banner so it's going to be web push mainstream everything is good so this is your offer url you can actually put your offer url over here let me just put You can put your offer URL here. Let me just put a Clickbank offer URL here just for the sample of testing this campaign. Let me just go ahead and put a Clickbank offer URL over here just to test and show you how everything works. Paste, so device format desktop. Okay, I want just one desktop. So countries, so you can actually ma uh, manually select countries or you can actually just select it automatically. So I'm going to select the countries manually. So let's go ahead and select Malaysia, my favorite country, because it's my country. So when you press Malaysia, this is what I like about certain ad networks. They do have a recommended CPC. I actually know what is the recommended CPC for Malaysia, but they do have a recommended CPC, a minimum CPC. So this is something very important and very good that a lot of a lot of push traffic network or traffic network do not have. So you have to keep this in mind. This is a feature that I like, one of the features that I like the most. So the price is going to be 0.01. So we're going to add the country. So once you add the country, you can actually see the smart traffic estimation is going over here. And you can actually expect it to get 15 clicks per day, which is very, very low. So yeah, you can actually increase the rate if you want to. But then uh, let me just increase the rate and see. Let's increase the rate to here and see how it goes. So definitely the clicks will increase. Yes, you can actually get 74 clicks per day. So which is good. So once you have done that, you can actually scroll down and see the creative section over here. You can actually upload your image. I'm just going to upload my image. So there is an internal cropping system over here. This is something which is very useful. So since they do have this kind of sizing stuff within this particular software itself, same like Propeller Ads, so you don't need to go to any other external software to resize your picture. You can actually do it over here itself. So I'm going to do it over here itself. So everything looks pretty neat. That's how I want it to be. All right, so crop image, just for the sake of it, guys. So 
Yes, so it looks nice. So the big one is also my image. So let's see. Yes, the big one is also my image, my face. Sorry, guys, I'm promoting my face too much just for the sake of the ads, guys. So, yeah. So once we have done that, uh, test, test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this is the test. So you can't actually preview how the image looks like. So you can actually add more creatives, which is make, which makes sense. You can actually go ahead and add more creatives if you want to, but you cannot preview your ad, how your ad looks like, or can you? I don't think you can, which is a big downfall. Adstera doing all this, having so much good features and all this kind of stuff. If you can't preview your ad, which is really, really bad. I thought it would be coming up over here, but it did not come. Only the details is here. What, what's your campaign name, traffic, or what's your landing URL, and all this kind of stuff. So the preview is not there, which is bad. For me, I personally feel that it's really, really bad. So user left, I think this is the biggest downfall of Adstera. They do not have this preview of this campaign. So the next one is user lifetime. You can actually add high, top, medium, or whatsoever. So let's just go all. All looks great. So total campaign budget is $100. So uh, you can even press unlimited if you want to. I don't want unlimited. I want $100 total campaign. Over here is actually time of start is where you schedule your campaign but they have a different name over here which is time of start you can actually read over here before start we send your campaign to verification just to make sure everything works right it can take up to three to 12 hours usually before 24 hours so the other one is much more faster uh, usually they will say 24 hours for safety precautions but they say three to 12 hours which is great so you can actually start exactly after the verification or you can keep it scheduled or you can keep it inactive even after the verification. So it depends on what you want. So we just start immediately. So you can actually submit this. Before that, you can actually go targeting. In targeting, you can actually target operating system. You can target a lot of stuff over here. So let's just do it for fun. So operating system, let's go for Windows. So you can add this one over here like this. Oh, wait, Windows, sorry. So Windows 8. Oh, nowadays it's already Windows 10, right? Sorry. So, yep. So, you can add this and then you can go ahead and target other stuff as well. So, uh, this is kind of hassle, but uh, they are in detail. So, you can actually do like this, but it's actually very, very hassling. You know, you need to choose one by one, one by one, which, which is, I think... I think which is bad. So we have found two bad points about ads there are so far. Uh, I don't want to do any targeting. I'm tired already. So over here is the capping. So normal, how, how much is the cap frequency cap? One impression per 24 hours, which is great. Limitation of impression. If you want to put, you can put. I don't want to put anything. So daily budget, I want to put $10 over here. Hourly budget, there's no hourly budget. But what's the advanced setting? So, so the advanced setting is where you can actually go ahead and blacklist or white at least certain settings or certain placement IDs and that's what they call themselves so placement ID so once you have done that you can actually go ahead and submit your particular ad that's it so you can start your campaign from step one also you can proceed from step two and step four to more settings so you can just go ahead and submit like they said it will take up to three hours to 12 hours to verify the campaign and if everything is good they can actually run very well so personally uh, i've covered a lot regarding adsera i think that's about it in today's video personally what i think about adsera is that they do have a lot of plus points their design their professionalities their support where you can actually contact the support manager and all this kind of stuff which is very in detail but when it comes to creating a campaign i think that they really really fall back compared to other traffic source which are not even a little bit professional as much as ads there are they are like not professional at all they don't have proper design they don't have proper logo but then still their particular creating campaign section is pretty straightforward pretty easy to use um it's actually straightforward but then there's 
downfalls, like you can't review your ads, and then uh, you, your, the targeting is like so much hassle, you need to choose one by one. So all these kind of stuff makes the campaign creation a little bit hard. So personally, that's what I think. Azure is a very, very good traffic network with a very, very high reputation. You can definitely go ahead and try Azure if you want to, but these are their downfalls and that's their positive side. So they, we, we covered both. We are not biased from Dice University. You have to keep that in mind. So that's about it in today's video. Like I told you, I really hope that today's video was beneficial for you and you can actually use the information to enhance your knowledge regarding Azure as well as to create campaign within Azure. Sarah itself. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll be seeing you in the next one. But before I go, allow me to introduce the Dice University Forum. Whether you are trying to make your first conversion on ClickBank or scale your campaigns to six figures, the Dice University Forum offers you exactly what you need, like high quality landing page templates, detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.